Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about the brand new Disney movie. It's called Raya and the Last Dragon. So it just came out and I'm going to let you guys know whether or not it's worth paying for. I just watched it and I'm going to let you guys know without any spoilers, like no spoilers at all in this video. And let me tell you guys how you can watch the movie first of all. So first of all, to watch this movie, you need to have Disney Plus and you need to pay, I think it's $29.99 to watch it before it goes on Disney Plus. So it's like a premium, it's like a before it gets released to everyone so you can pay the money and then watch it. So it comes out June 4th on Disney Plus and if you do not have Disney Plus or you don't want to get it, you can also watch it at your local movie theater if they're open. Unfortunately, where I live, most of the movie theaters are closed because of COVID restrictions, but there are a few showings. I think it shows like once or twice a day at the local drive-in movie theater. So I got it on Disney Plus and let me tell you guys if it's worth it. But if you want to go to your local movie theater, it might be cheaper than getting a Disney Plus subscription and paying that extra $29.99 but if you're in your house you can also watch it with a lot of people with well not a lot of people because of COVID restrictions but with all of your family and you can watch it as many times as you'd like okay so before I watched this movie I had seen the trailer a couple of weeks ago and I actually thought that it came out in like months ahead so I did not know that it was like already coming out but my friend was posting about it on Instagram and he was saying like how he wanted to watch it and how it was like really good and then I was like I need to watch this and there was a lot of speculation whether um about this new Disney princess movie and I think there was like a lot of things that said she was like the new Filipino princess and she's not the new Filipino princess she's actually a the first Southeast Asian princess and it takes place in an imaginary world. It takes place in this fantasy world called Kumandra. And as you can tell by the title, it has something to do with dragons. And the last dragon. And so... Okay, so for the cast, they actually have mainly all Asian actors who are voicing the characters, which is pretty amazing because a lot of the times within different ethnicities and they have they're not the same ethnicity as their characters but we have a ton of different Asian actors in this movie okay so of course it's a Disney movie it's perfect for any age whether you're a kid or older and it is actually really entertaining it's really fun it's different in a way but very familiar which sounds very strange but it's like it feels like there's like bits and pieces of different movies from other movies put into one movie but like with not it's not like copy and paste you know it's it's different okay so in this movie there's actually not a single love interest because i know that in every disney movie there's always like the prince charming who's always trying to like win over the princess and in this movie there is none of that so i know like frozen is like people are like oh elsa doesn't have anyone but they also have that story of anna where she's like with Kristoff. okay so i actually watched this movie alone i usually watch it with my family or friends and um let me tell you my parents love to sleep in every movie i think disney souls they slept through it um toy story 3 slept through it every movie slept through it for the most part but i kind of wish that they watched it because it is actually really entertaining because it kind of goes from like one place to another and honestly when i started watching it the first 10 minutes i was like what am i watching because i thought it was like very strange and kind of not like anything i had seen before or nothing that i was like expecting from a disney movie and then it just kind of transformed into that 
Okay, so the first 10 minutes, I was honestly very confused on what I was watching. I was like, what is this movie about? Even when I watched the trailers, I was very confused about what the movie was even about. It didn't really have anything in specific about what the movie was about. I just knew that it was like about a dragon and this one girl named Rhea. And of course, she's a princess. Okay, so I actually, in the end, I actually really liked the story. I thought it was a very nice ending and a very nice story overall that keeps you like engaged and it just kind of builds and you have all these characters and i feel like in this movie they made like the main character of Rhea. she is not like any other disney princess like how you kind of relate to her okay so in this movie you have Rhea, which is the main character and most of the time when you watch like a disney princess movie you're like oh that's me that's me that's me especially with like different characters you're like you feel kind of like oh that's me and then you're watching this movie and you're just like that's not me although i'm not gonna lie she's like stubborn and that's kind of a little like me sometimes because i'm stubborn but i would never like to admit that <laughs> but um i really like like all the sub characters that they added like they just bring so much to the plot okay so there's a couple of characters that come along like every movie that help out the princess and help her get to her goal and in this movie the characters are very different from like other characters especially like they have her sidekick and she is unlike any other character she is goofy weird strange um awkward and there's also of course a villain in this movie okay so there's also a villain in this movie like every other disney movie well every disney princess movie there's a villain but there's like this twist within how they portray the villain and i don't want to give out any spoilers but let me tell you the villain is not like any other disney villain okay so this villain in this movie is a lot different than most disney princess movies and she's kind of more real in a sense and it just kind of she kind of develops within the movie as well and i can't really give out anything because that would be a big spoiler okay you know what i just real okay so you know what i just realized raya never has like that moment where she goes in like most disney movies where they like they get in like this beautiful gown Okay, so another thing is that Rhea never gets in like, you know how they have like these big, elegant, poofy dresses and they always have like this big, shiny moment? Rhea kind of doesn't have like that moment where she goes into like this beautiful gown. Though they do have a party and she has like very traditional clothing, I want to say. And it's like southeast asian traditional clothing which is kind of cool also okay so overall i really liked the movie i thought it was really good it was entertaining it just kept going from like place to place it was not like at any moment where i felt like it was really boring or anything um to compare it to i want to say like I, this is my opinion because i know it's not going to be challenged but um disney souls there were moments where i was like kind of bored and i was like what is going on like this is just boring for some reason but in this movie raya every second of the movie you're just kind of engaged and just kind of wondering what's going to happen next and if i think that is worth to buy and watch this movie i would say yes because I like being like the first one to see <laughs> movies, especially Disney movies. I always watch them if I can. And then overall, it's honestly not that much, especially since going to the movies costs almost the same or maybe more. And if you wanted to, you could actually go to the movie theater. So you have that option. If you want to go to the drive-in, maybe where you live, they're actually open. I thought it was very entertaining and 
really awesome. If it's like one of my new favorite Disney movies, no, but it was, however, a really great movie. I think, I think this movie is like a really interesting twist between like the Disney princess and like, I guess like this new emerging Disney princess that they're trying to build. And then there's like all these different scenes and all these different things that kind of remind me of different movies so you're watching this and like there's like parts where i'm like oh this kind of reminds me of star wars this kind of reminds me of like legend of korra this reminds me of like i'm watching shrek and like all these other movies just like kind of compiled into one and i think it just it's just really entertaining and really fun to watch overall i think like the end of message was really beautiful i think it really like captivated my heart like it's like something that kind of is relatable and like happening all around the world sometimes and you just it just like pieces things together and how like everything could like work and i definitely think that you should go and watch this movie either at your movie theater or watch it online because you got three months till June and you can watch it now. And I think it's cool that they made like a Southeast Asian Disney princess. But um, it also, she could be like any ethnicity. She's honestly from this like mystical place and it doesn't really make a difference where she's from. It's just that there's just like a lot of cultural references in the movie that are just kind of cool. Like there's like things that I've never had like... I think the like kanji and um I've never had kanji I'm, I'm not really sure what that is I know it's like a stew but I thought that was cool and they have like all these like different things like the the way they dress the way different food and stuff like that and I really like actually it kind of like the anime when you watch anime and the food is always like looks really good <laughs> I was like oh how did they make this this like soup look like this it's not the kanji but, but it's like they make like this other soup with like chilies and everything and it just looks it just looks good like i'm like pour me a bowl please but yeah also if you're bored at home because not a lot of things are open because of covid restrictions i think you should get it too and okay so i know i'm gonna get a lot of backlash for this and i know like people really like soul but um, I think this movie is a lot better than Soul. It kind of looks, it has like that feel of Disney princess, but it also has like this new twist. Okay, one of my biggest complaints though is the fact that there are no Disney songs. There are no songs and especially like those Disney princess songs are so, um, they're so catchy. Like I listen to them all day sometimes and you just love to listen to them and sing along. There was honestly no music. There was music and I think like there was one song and I think it was in Tagalog because it was all over the news. It was in Tagalog and I'm not even sure when that played or when that was because it, it was so subtle and played like in the background. And that is like honestly like the biggest, the biggest letdown of the movie. I think like in order to be a Disney movie, you definitely have to have like a really nice song and especially like the the Disney movies have like those catchy songs that you just like they just get stuck in your head and you play them all day long and whenever you think of it it's just like you know exactly what it is so I think those the fact that there was no songs and they didn't really have like they had outfits but they didn't have like one big outfit gown thing especially since i know like all the little kids love to get like those little outfits especially um her outfit kind of reminds me a little of like moana for some reason it's just like a cape and the grass thing but um she had like a nice ceremony dress and it's like i think it was like a blue crop top with yellow flowers and like the matching pants 